Hello, good morning. Yes, law aspirants, you are ready for the vocabulary class. I hope you are enjoying these classes. See, the YouTube offers a plethora of vocabulary series, but ours is different. We are exclusively focusing on CLAT. CLAT common legal aptitude test is our target and this target has been achieved every time law prep and the students of law prep have always come out in flying colors. So adding up to our knowledge and adding up to our things, let's begin with our series of vocabulary for today's session. You have learnt various words, various roots, EU means good or dias means faulty or belly means warlike or AB means move away and this gives you a list of words coming up plethora of words coming up in your mind. Coming up with the uh, vocabulary section that is reading very important. It is said that you have, you are supposed and you are expected to read five pages a day. No mugging or cramming, no rote learning. You have to just understand what is the passage saying. Do read the fiction, editorial section, the newspapers, the Hindu, the Times of India or the Indian Express or the Hindustan Times. If you would want to read, you could read all four of them, but at least the Hindu is expected to be read by you. Turning to the novel sections, please do read the novels. If, if you are a very fast reader, you should go for the novel sections. Northern Jarabe by Jane Austen, Persuasions, wonderful novel of Jane Austen and Animal Fun, which is really based on the Russian Revolution, right? So, <coughs> which is based on, uh, you would enjoy, you would understand what is Russian Revolution of uh, 1917 when you read this. It's one reading. It's a very small little one. And it's, you know, it's based on, I told earlier also, right, it is an allegory which in which there is a fictitious names given to the characters. The real names have been changed, right? So, turning to that, and then we have is a list of short stories that I have jotted down for you. Mother, Somerset Mom, one of the best short story writers of Britain. A Cup of Tree of Catherine Mansfield, Karma in an Indian Story by Kushwan Singh. Yes, if you are, you know, really want to, you know, get interested into English, they are the lullabies, which really you would enjoy reading and it will grasp your attention too. Yes. Turning to the essays section, these are the essays, the new cat by Robert Lear. You know, the people who are too much fond of pets and how do they behave when guests come to a place. Your guests have to be attended or your pests have to be attended and such a humorous touch he has given to the essay worth reading. A Night Among the Pines by R.L. Stevenson, the natural beauty, the scenery, the picturesque descriptions are done by R.L. Stevenson. Francis Bacon always a must read, the father of English essays who says reading makes you a complete man. It's worth reading of studies loaded with aphorisms, loaded with epigrams. He was himself an encyclopedia to be rightly said so. <coughs> On books by Belloc. Beggars by Robert Louis Stevenson and Dream Children by Charles Lamb, who was the prince of personal essays. You know, he never married. He was a bachelor. He always had the desire or dream to get married and have children, but he never got a chance to do so. So his dreams, which could never be fulfilled, the unfulfilled desires of Charles Lamb have to be brought into existence. These are the essays, right? Turning to our first route for today. That is fun, right? Is say hum, uh, we are going to take out some more roots for this. That is micro, right? Micro is small. Mega is after big, very simple root, right? Telly is far away. EU is good. Kako is bad, right? Ab is root ko is root ke saath, if we merge them, how easy for you to rest the word, right? Microphone would be small sounds of the voice making it loud. Mega is the big sounds when you're speaking into it. Far away sounds are, you know, carried away by it. Euphonous is good sound, pleasant to the ear, worth hearing. The sound of the crow, will it be euphonous or cacophonous? Yes, cacophonous. It's very shrill, trumpet type of a sound. That is cacophonous, right? 
sound which is ear piercing sound which our ear doesn't want to hear that would be the case so these are the roots first root second this is what you have to do every day third fourth five and six roots within this first slide right i am to add more to it so we take up the first word microphone is a device that makes the small sound of a voice that is louder saxophone is an instrument invented by adolf sax it was used to you know make up the sound yes megaphone is a device that makes a big sound when speaking you speak into it and makes the sound big telephone the root tele device which carries sound over long distance used to have those stds calls and earlier those dial numbers yes things have become easy in the scientific age that is telephone so i hope you have jotted down all the six roots here euphonous would be good sound cacophonous would be yes bat sound shrill sound trumpet sound like crow adding more to this words i hope you have jotted down with me keeping pace with me in the six roots okay adding more to this cacophonous the harsh sound unpleasant sound we could also say this is a uh, trumpet sound or it's very shrill sound it's very loud it is unpleasant sound symphony you heard everything working in a perfect order you have seen the musicians giving this up and down and as a child i didn't understand what is this he's doing this 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 is a symphony this is a perfection in music in the sound saxophonus is this instrument this was invented by sousa this was used to carry up the sound euphonous from the root eu caco root bad this is good xylophone this is good sound something which will our ears want to hear a treat to our ears sense with sound right and all of us uh, you know surajana i do is called the nightingale of india so this is some of our sounds which are very euphonious right the xylophone is an instrument which makes sounds why am metals hitting wood when the metals are hitting wood that type of a sound it's a perfect kind of a musical kind of a sound that sound is produced and it's called xylophone right okay turning to our more words in this before i do that you have noted down the words very good any doubt any confusion anything which you don't understand please do let me know phoneme to elaborate on this we have first thing a uh, linguistic is divided in two broad categories i'm not going into the etymological meaning don't worry phonetics and phonology क्योंकि हमारा दोनों रूट्स इससे लिंक्ड है दोनों में फोन है दिस इज हाउ साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हाउ लैंग्वेज इज प्रोड्यूस सो इन दिस फोनेटिक्स वी हैव फोनीम्स राइट व्हेन आई से कैट सो वी हैव थ्री फोनीम्स इन दिस क एट कैट दिस इज द बेसिक प्रोनाउंसिएशन मेथड व्हिच पीपल लर्न सो इट्स द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ साउंड इन वर्ड्स फोनोग्राफ इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच प्लेस साउंड्स व्हिच वर रिटन ऑन रिकॉर्ड्स यस homophone you can see the word home homo that means same word of homo sapiens yes so the same sound is produced in a different meaning right that is homophone phonetics is a study of the sounds that the words make yes because we have done this you can see here phonetics and phonology right this is clear so the basic meaning here you have graph the root graph which also means to write right homo root which means same hetero root which means different you added some six roots in the last series this is the more roots this is the seventh eighth or ninth root right so you could add up more and more roots even the root gram means right gramophone or grammology or grammatics all would be in the sense of writing what you have to remember the grist of the matter yes this is what what is it 
phone sound. See, it is, it can happen. We can forget this word, but we will not forget the root meaning. Why? Because P H O N that is sound, right? You would make it good sound because you would like to hear that, and caco would be a bad sound. You would not like to hear it. Sometimes what happens is when you're reading any particular word and you come across this, you may forget it because what happens is our mind is not able to retain all those words. Each and every word, it's really next to impossible to retain. So in that case, it is the roots which help you. You know, you can alphabetically jot them down. Keep writing. The best method. Some students ask me how to, ma'am, even retain the roots. Sometimes I forget the roots too. First thing I tell you, you do not forget the roots if you are really reading them with concentration. It isn't. Second thing, if you are doing that, the best method, children, would be the same that you write the root and write five examples. Whichever root you don't find the examples, do let me know because I can give you a helping hand once you say so. A teacher is not an X-ray machine. Could know what is going on inside you. So don't keep any doubts. Any doubt which comes in your mind, anything that crops up in your mind, you could ask for it. This is the root. What would be the meaning? Which reading I should do? I have told you already that if you are reading short stories, this is the best method to start and develop interest in English because this is something which is going to help you multiply the things, right? So, all the roots you have noted down for today, these are the 10 roots that we have learned for today and this is something which will be really interesting for you if you are going to do it, keep repeating it and understanding it. Do what is the best method? I have made some 10 to 15 words for the root form. Now, what are you going to do? All these 10 roots like graph, graphology or graphics or anything or homo sapiens, right? You have heard the word homo sapiens? Yes. Or the word heterogeneous. This is the class is a homogeneous batch or a heterogeneous batch? Yes, it is a heterogeneous batch. We are all Indians having different things in that. So, keeping this in mind, you have to frame it. I hope it does not need a recap. You have retained all the words. I divided this just to explain you the basic things in linguistic Although we are not taking this paper, this is done in post graduation. The students learn what is linguistic, what is phonetics, what is phonology, how words are produced. See, phonetics gives rise to even morphemes, allomorphs, phonology, phonetics. Ke, when we have this phonemes, we also have a sick or word banate hai, allophones. Now, what is allophones? Each word we have a different pronunciation sometimes. How do we have that? When we have the word P, it is sometimes stressed or it is sometimes unstressed. This is more going into the details of the things. So, in that case, you need not worry about it. That would be enough for today. Yes, so allophones are the different pronunciations we make with a stressed and unstressed syllable. Do remember the root and keep writing to us. Do not forget to like the channel and subscribe it. Thank you students.